Okay, everybody, I'm just going to do a YouTube video because it's too much to blog. So I'm finally trying pretzel M&Ms. I've been hearing about them forever. I guess this is where the package is ripped. But I've been hearing about them forever, and so they're finally at my Walgreens. And um, I'm trying them. I have three left in the package. And it's weird because, first of all, I don't like chocolate-covered pretzels, so... I was like, am I even going to really like these? I bite into them. And so there's something in there, right? It's not a peanut, but they're the size of peanut M&M's. It's not really identifiable as a pretzel either. Like, it doesn't really taste like a pretzel. I never really get that, that tangy salt. Exactly. So it almost has the consistency of like a Whopper, but it doesn't have that weird malt taste either. So I kept eating them I just kept eating them to almost see like if I liked them or hated them or what. So if I was going for a chocolate fix and this was only the only thing I had in my house, I would keep eating these. Because it's got enough of the M&M chocolate that I know and love. To make it be worth it. Which is why I kept eating them. But if I want to eat M&M's, I want to eat peanut M&M's. I don't want to eat these. Here's my last one. I mean, I get used to it. It's like crunchy, salty, sweet. That's what it says. I get crunchy, I get sweet. I never really get salty. So, I keep expecting something to be really bad for me to really hate it. I don't really hate it, but I don't really love it. And if I'm gonna have an M&M, if I'm gonna have an M&M chocolate taste, if not, if not gonna be eating like a real chocolate bar, and I'm gonna be eating M&Ms, Then I'd rather eat peanut M&M's. Why not? Like, just go balls out and eat a peanut M&M. So, um, I'm going to give this uh, a C- minus for a candy. Not going to go for that again. Okay.